Here we are on Her Story Podcast, and with us today is Mung Mung, Sydney-based artist. Here she is, Mung Mung. Welcome to Her Story Podcast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're so excited. <laughs> um, you're described, you, I guess you describe yourself as a multidisciplinary artist. What does that mean for you? Uh, well, I, I guess uh, that's just like some schmancy term that uh, some other people have decided to describe me with, but I guess um, it probably stems from the fact that I love to dabble in different creative mediums. So obviously I mainly do music, you know, music's the love of my life, but also I love to do a whole bunch of other shit like design clothes so a lot of the um, stage outfits or costume design in music videos or any visuals most of them are items I've designed or handmade Um, and there's also that aspect of myself where you know I'm just a visual arts kid like I love to doodle, draw, um, do the whole graphic design thing and edit images here and there. Um, Yeah I think I just love all facets of the arts and I I don't know, I guess I just like to dabble in a whole bunch of things under that art umbrella, if you will, not necessarily just music. Maybe that's where the people got it from. I don't know. Well, there you go. But, yeah. (laughs) I think think that puts it all together. So um, speaking of your sound, um, there's it's out there, alt rap, R&B, pop, um, what are the words that you use to describe your sound? Gosh, I I feel like I usually just um, come through with whatever feels right in the moment. Um, but I, I think you had that perfect summary just now. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a soulful element, I guess, in everything I do and Maybe that makes sense because I just naturally have an ear for it. Like I love uh, those specific genres that you mentioned and that's always been intrinsic for me Um, since the first moment I heard uh, Black Eyed Peas on the radio and that's more pop. And then eventually I jumped into that whole rabbit hole with Eminem and then Kanye West and eventually more alternative, um, if you will, artists like Tyler, the creator, who really changed uh, my perspective on the game in that you don't have to be a certain way to sit in the hip hop genre. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I think you had all all the right answers there. But yeah, just whatever feels right. There's a bit of cuteness, a bit of cheekiness. And I also love the storytelling aspect. So yes, hip hop, R&B, a little bit of pop vibes is my moment. Awesome. Not that deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> so storytelling. What um what are some of the stories Mung Mung is telling us? Well, there is in this particular album, there mm. there's um there's a lot of cute little hints about I guess being a late bloomer or coming into one's own. So there's the hints of uh, taking a nod at self-worth and understanding of self as well as just some cute shit romantic moments, um, that whole puppy love aspect. And then I also dabble on certain issues like how social media can change perception and that hopefully is a good launch into the rest of my artistry where I hope to talk about a lot of other issues, wink, wink. Like there are just so many things that I care about. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, the romance stuff or like the parte parte hits, which I'm totally here for. And I have songs like that too. But I I think that this uh, body of work coming out, Bougie Baby, it's a good little sprinkle of what's more to come in my artistry. You know, I, I want to tackle more issues like, um any social issues um of course 
the equality issues, things like that. I mean, yeah, I care a lot about a whole bunch of humanistic issues that may not be presented in the songs I have out at the moment. But yeah, just y'all wait, just y'all wait. <laughs> All right, so on on the album, here we go. Are you the Buju baby? Uh yes, sir. Yes, I am the Buju baby. Um, you know, sis likes to do it a little bit fancy, a little bit bougie. Uh, yeah, I guess the the whole idea of the album is to embrace the more feminine side of myself you know we cute you know we just doing growly things and I just felt like that title for the album made sense in that way mm -hmm. um and are your girls on the track I guess they're just as cute the the girls is that what you call them or the tracks <laughs> <laughs> that's a very that's a very good term for all my tracks my girls my little babies yeah I guess so they're just as cute just as bougie there's some there's a mix in there I guess we got the bougie girls in there we got the cute girls we got the kind of sad girls um baddie girls and of course with the help of some of my amazing friends that I've made along the way in this journey obviously aside from T who was the executive producer and a lot of my songs on this album are with him um but you know there's Taka there's also the 1300 boys boy soda just a whole bunch of them that have just really put their hands in uh on this project with me to create this super dope little bougie baby <laughs> oh it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous bougie baby she got it <laughs> so on <laughs> collabs um and you said you you do them a lot. How do um, where do they stand in your music, and sort of what draws you to them as well? Well, I think naturally, I well, how I approach art is that I I kind of give it my all in terms of having creativity unhinged. So when it comes to the music process as well, it only makes sense that I do the same so I'm very much uh, a, a collaborative person or I really just bow down to all the other people that have made it all happen like I I mainly sit in my lane of the artist thing where I just write lyrics or I just come up with melodies I know I'm good at that I'm not gonna try and dabble in the whole producer thing that's a whole other skill so when I you know let my producers like, create the tracks it's just the perfect partnership and I just let them do their own thing obviously I know what I like to hear I know what chords I like I know the tempo I like for each song of course um but I just love to see other creatives do their own thing and obviously outside of creating the music even in my visuals you know the the dear friends of mine that have just formed my creative team like Jordan my brother who frequently directs the videos um and also Sophie my makeup artist I usually just let them do their thing with it like I'll come to them with the idea or the looks that I've styled and they just bring that to life. So I think collaboration is so important and I really, really respect a lot of my creative peers and of course mentors. And I wouldn't want to stand in their way. You know, I feel like the Mung Mung project is the perfect avenue for all of us to bring all of our creativity unhinged. Beautiful. Lovely. And you know, staying in your own lane, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I would love to dabble. I mean, I, I know, look, I don't want to, look, let's just say this is on the record, but off the record, like, I I have my basic production skills, I guess. Like, I, you know, I do have a musical background in that I do play an instrument, the piano, but I feel that it's just such an acquired skill to be a producer. I wish I was Tyler, the creator, you know, I feel like, He's so good at doing the artist thing, but also the producer thing. It's just such a skill. I really, I, I just, I, I admire it so much. Um, but I'm not going to try and take that hat if I can't. Like, I don't want to be a wannabe and create really shit music. <laughs> I'll just leave that to my amazing <laughs> producer friends, you know. But, you know, I could work at it. I could work at it. But, yeah, I'm cool yeah. with just focusing on um, the dope lyrics and melodies. 
Oh. <laughs> and they're dope. <laughs> Absolutely. So what where is um where is the visual um journey gonna take us with Buju Baby? Well, for Buju Baby, um but I guess the whole concept behind it was like with everything I've done, I think it's just naturally fallen into place because I mean I didn't purposely write all these songs for the album. Um, you know, it's an accumulation of songs from when I was 16 to 18 mostly during that time mm-hmm. period and then obviously some newer songs that have come about um, during lockdown or just post-lockdown and, of course, even more recent than that as well. So with that time frame in mind um, and, of course, during lockdown when I was binge-watching all these movies like Clueless and Michelle and Romy and all that stuff, I felt like there was a light bulb moment for me where I was just thinking, oh, my God, bougie baby. And, you know, I naturally fall into that whole um, cute girl shit and, like, that whole fashionista moment as well as a bit of a mix of that Disney princess fantasy. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to really lean into that feminine side and, like, that just growly things side. And so I just thought it makes sense to have their visuals for Bougie Baby be very much inspired by those um, things that I just listed, you know, just to grab the elements of that really cute um, preppy girl kind of styling that you see in those early 2000s or 90s movies. And, of course, there's that aspect of that ethereal side of things from the Disney moments I mean yeah I just really drew upon my childhood and I think and I think it it just matches back with some of the topics that I mentioned I mean it was only natural that I talked about things that I see now related to puppy love or um almost like the wallflower daydreaming oh what would it be like if I was a bit more confident or what would it be like if my crush did like me back like there's a little bit of hints in the songs so I naturally just leaned into that when creating the visual world for it. Ah, awesome. <laughs> Clueless, one of the best movies ever made. It's <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, I rewatched it and I was like, there really isn't that much going on story-wise, but I just fucking love it. It was like, it's like a comic, you know, just, yeah. it's just so cute. Like you get to live out the, the fashion dream fantasy and it's just so cute. So mm. Yeah. Yes. Just had to pay a mark for that. Yeah. Um. Now, your background is Korean, and you sing in Korean, in in songs as well. So, um, why was it important to um have both languages? And I guess. I guess it's you, <laughs> so that would be why. Um, but, yeah, so why is it important to uh, uh, include, bring together Korean and English in your um, music? Well, so actually um, I'm of a Chinese background, but oh, so- the one thing I had always brought along that, Korean moment to the to the record with their verses in um, Attitude Problem, but yes, uh, I I've done a few songs in Mandarin and in Bougie Baby. Um, I kind of whip out more of the heritage in a few songs. I mean, there's that sample that I have in So Money, and obviously my verse in Attitude Problem. Um, which is so fun, but uh, I don't know. I guess it's it's just one of those fun things. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, there are some things I can definitely say in English and, um, you know, being raised in Australia and growing up um, in the West, obviously I think I am more inclined to literature in English, like the whole metaphors thing and, um, similes and all those kind of um, 
language techniques, I'm probably more on the Western side, but sometimes it is really fun to bring a little bit of that in my in my very uh, ABC <laughs> Chinese. And um, yeah, it was just fun to explore those different things in Mandarin. And on Bougie Baby, I do do a little bit of Cantonese singing. I don't know. It's just so fun. And um, yeah, th there were just certain things that brought me closer to my own culture and obviously double checking the lyrics with my mom, like that, that brought us closer too. And it's just, it's so fun to be able to uh, write music in the mother tongue. It's yeah, it's just a fun thing. Yeah. And to do. I think it's, yeah. And, oh, but like the one, three hundred boys, the one, three hundred boys are like, they're, they're so, I feel like they're very much in their Korean bag. Like they got it down pat. I feel like my Mandarin and, my Cantonese is very weak compared to them. So it was just being in that room with them. I was like, shit, I got to step up my game. Like I don't deserve to be yellow. <laughs> no. but, oh, um, but yeah, sorry to interrupt you. You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you so just take some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, um yeah so well is it easier will you be writing it do you write as well in Cantonese um well actually when you're writing I lyrics think... or feeling well as I well? <laughs> yeah um I I write in the phonetic so I write in pinyin my my writing my my writing in Chinese and my reading of Chinese is probably horrific, um, but I can definitely get by with the speaking. So, yes, you I might have to hold you to like I probably should take lessons and and shit. But uh, <laughs> yes, look, it'll get me by. It'll get me by in music and stuff. And with technology these days, like the whole um, voice recording or Google Translate, I'm able to just convey shit in the in the writing but yeah I probably should get with it I should get with it but yeah I write in pinyin like I have a good phonetic ear for all that thank god <laughs> thank god um all right well where are you anticipating uh bougie baby will take you like was it just a I guess an experiment or a, are you on the road to glory oh my god road to glory a, are you going to build a castle for all your bougie bougie girls to come over <laughs> with all the royalties <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness it, like this one it's experiment and next level castle. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, I feel like you're really setting out the goals for me. That's the true bougie baby mindset. I appreciate you, Ash. Um, I don't know if I'm bougie like that, but uh, I I don't know. I actually, I never really think of the outcomes or I don't really know um, because I'm not really the kind of person that's like, yes, Um like, give me that five billion streams. Yes, I want all the glamour and all that. I mean, that's that's kind of that's kind of oh, almost like the glamour. opposite of, of being bougie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I don't really care for the accolades or any of those kind of um, milestone things. I don't know. To me, I, I feel that, well, this work has been a long time coming and I'm just glad that the artistic expression that is Bougie Baby is going to be out. And I'm so glad that I was able to put together the visuals for it to tell that story. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to continue releasing music and continue building upon um, all, uh, well, continue building upon my vision. So, yes, we have the Bougie Baby world. But I'm just so excited to branch out from that as well because, like I said earlier, it's a really nice little launch pad moment for me to go pew, hmm. up to the yeah. next story next to tell. You know? Okay, so we're going yeah. up to level two next time. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, but let's just say for the sake of um, 
what you said. I don't want to disappoint you with your amazing bougie baby goal list. But yes, like imagine me ha- building my amazing bougie castle and I am yeah. kind of leaning out of a windowsill singing to the birds and yeah. yes, all my <laughs> amazing like, friends surrounding like, me. It'll be based on a Disney castle. That's Yes, <laughs> that's the moment. Uh, Disney, sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn. Yeah. Oh, imagine if there's a Mung Mung doll. <gasps> Don't get me started. Don't get me started. I've been, I've literally been thinking that because I've been seeing those really beautiful little mermaid dolls. Uh, oh, it just looks so gorgeous. That has to be a Mung Mung doll one day eventually. Well, with your art, care if it doesn't art networks, people, get them to make at least <laughs> one Mung Mung doll. <laughs> Please. Well, oh, well, you, please. We've got a, one in human form. We need one in That's right. Form. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, so will you be hitting the road at all? Will we see you playing live? Um, I have a few shows and things coming up. I mean, keep a lookout. Um, I, I like to be a mysterious girl. But, yeah, there are a few things coming up where we can all kind of jam out together, um, all blast the tracks of Bougie Baby and, like, jump along, sing along together. Um, But, yes, can't disclose too many details yet because she likes to keep a secret, so y'all got to watch out. (laughs) So if we were going to stalk you and... Mm -hmm. Till we find out these details and see yes. more of your dresses and more about your life. Where will we find you, Mung Mung? Well, I'm everywhere, unfortunately. I'm going to piss all of y'all off for the rest of your lives. Um, but, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Tweet, Tweet, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, anything, everywhere. Okay. What's the best <laughs> one? Insta oh, or the TikTok? Oof, um, I'm gonna be real with you. I fuck. I really, I really suck at TikToking, and okay. I, I post a lot of my troll content on there. But if you want like the nice visuals and aesthetic, I would say Instagram. The gram's a good place for me. I curate. I, I, I curate. That's right. I just curate my gram like it's my art gallery. You know, like if you like That's aesthetic shit, thinking. yeah. Find your girl on the gram. If you like troll shit, find your girl on the TikTok. <laughs> The TikTok, yeah. And what's your handle? It's Mung Mung. It's literally it's Mung Mung. I T S M U N G M U N G Mung Mung like the mung bean. Thank y'all. <laughs> okay, so um, look, I think we've um had a chat. Is there anything else we should mention with the launch of this new baby? Um, is this will this interview be out after the album is out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Amazing. Um. Well, I don't know. Y'all, y'all just gotta listen to it and tell me what are your favorite moments. Um. And yes, I, I, I do like maybe I don't know if this will be included in the interview, but. Yeah. The reason why I was a bit mysterious about the shows is because there are just certain details, like they're just unannounced, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but there will be shows and events coming up. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I think we've covered a lot of the ground. There's definitely going to be stuff surrounding this, so got to make sure that everybody follows and so they get the details. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so... Um... Ms. Mung Mung, yes. I did this to everyone. Now, yes. I'd like you to request a song, please. It goes out with your episode. So um, oh. it'll be out with the new album. Oh, okay, amazing. Oh, TikTok, my God, okay. TikTok, she's on the spot. Okay. TikTok. okay, I'm here to plug my album and the hard work that all me and my amazing friends put in so I've, of course i have to pick a song from the album uh all right let's go with um maybe if you if you play so money 
you know, because that's just, we're here to manifest the bougie vibes with so money. Mm-hmm. And you'll get um, royalties from that getting paid <laughs> on our podcast. Yes. You'll get Damn, maybe one about cent the royalties? from Damn. Um, Spotify. Oh, God damn, it ain't all about the royalties. The only royalty <laughs> is right here. You're the royalty, Ash. Damn. All right. Um, Miss Mugmug, it's been a delight to, and I could speak to you all night. I really could. But <laughs> I, I don't, I think you've got better things to do. Um, <laughs> oh, no, there's nothing better than this. This is the peak. <laughs> This is this is Mount Everest, you know. What I'm saying like it's the peak. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad coming on an indie podcast like Her Story podcast is the peak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, it's after you. I'm talking to Tyler. Then I have Lizzo in. Um, what? You have, have you heard of this lady that keep calling a bay? Have you heard of her? No. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bay, like, okay, Queen Bay. Damn. I yeah. was thinking like Bay. And I was like, Bay, that's a new one. I gotta search it up. But of course, Bay on say. Um, yeah, the the Queen Bee of the Hive. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So... One could say, yeah. This is a this is a pinnacle in my career. It's one for the her story books. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? The <laughs> book. Love yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to seeing these lovely shows, getting up, dancing, have a listening party, finding yeah. out more. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I just got to, you, you just got to stay. Yeah, you got to pick out your up. shoes. You got to pick out your shoes. That's right. And then the keep bag to go with the shoes. That's right. You got to keep it bougie. I want to see all these outfits, people. All these outfits. Yeah, and that means you'll give people enough time, and um, then they'll be able to come with their best, exactly, on to party with you because that's all that they should be wearing. That's right. Oh, and like one note as well. Like if y'all are stuck for outfits, I'm just saying. Yellow Girl, my brand has its first ever drop with this album. So if y'all are stuck on what to wear, just just get that Yellow Girl. You know what I'm saying? Like get that Yellow Girl in your wardrobe, and yeah. you'll never be stuck with what to wear. <laughs> and we can all be bougie babies together. That's the word. I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you for helping us out with that. That's um, yeah. Thank you. you just, Thank you so much just for having everything. I know. Oh, my God. That's why we love you and that's why you're here and that's why um, you were chosen to be up here oh my God. with um, yeah. everybody else on the on the um, peak of um, music. Mount Herstory. Yeah, Mount Herstory. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep saying stupid things. Um, all right. Well, thank you, and I look forward to seeing everything that um, keeps going for you. And I will slide into your DMs. Don't you worry. <gasps> oh my god, I would love that. <laughs> Come slide in my DMs anytime. Your girl's a little bit lonely, you know. What I'm saying. <laughs> Of course. Of course. All right. All right. Take care. And I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you, Ash. Thank you. No worries.